Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough, and this time we are testing out the Deadpool pre-built pool aspect hero deck that just was released. And of course, I have to try it out against the Juggernaut. Uh, we'll see how the pool aspect works. I didn't go through my whole uh, collection and collect every single weapon upgrade there or, or yeah upgrade there because uh, I will be using only the cards that come in the pre-built hero deck so without further delay let's get started okay so we are ready to start uh, Deadpool is a really interesting hero and the pool aspect is really bizarre, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this deck performs. So, we have the game set up, so Juggernaut has the tough and stalwart at the start of the game. Uh, the stalwart comes from the Juggernaut's helmet and tough from the revealed effect. And we have Hope Summers in play. And uh, I think we are ready to begin, so we'll just draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll get going. So, Meta Knowledge, this card is Fire, Deadpool's Katana. It ain't over. I got this fairly a scratch. Okay, so. So, after your turn ends, if this card is in your hand, take one damage. So hero action deal X damage to an enemy. X is the amount of damage you have sustained. Okay. Meta knowledge when an encounter card is revealed, cancel it. Uh, Deadpool's katana, exhaust Deadpool's katana, and take one damage, two damage, to an, uh, deal two damage to an enemy. This attacks gains piercing. So uh, we are not using that. This card is fire, so I'm using that and meta knowledge to play Deadpool's katana. And uh, I am using the Breaking the Fourth Wall discard card from your hand. Search your deck for a giant pool event and add it to your hand. Limit once per round. Mm, it must be an event. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll take the maximum effort. We'll shuffle our deck. Then we'll flip to Deadpool. So, pause interrupt when you would be defeated instead. Uh, set your hit points to dial to 1, change the alter ego form, and add one acceleration token to the main skill. So, Juggernaut actually can defeat Deadpool if we get uh, knocked. To our alter ego, and somehow the <coughs> agenda advances, uh, we are dead. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. So uh, I'm using uh, I got this to place this onto the main scheme, so it ain't over. So its acceleration token adds plus two to this value, so that's really good. And uh, we will uh, use. Deadpool's Katana, so exhaust Deadpool's Katana and take one damage. And uh, we deal with piercing, so the top is off and deal two. And uh, we will hit for two. Oh, yeah, and uh, mm -mm. Okay, then uh, Hope Summers will hit for two, <coughs> and uh, we will maximum effort for, mm. yeah, five damage, and we ready up, we draw back up to our hand size, so one, two, three, four, five. 
we have this card is fire and now it's a fast our end of our turn so this doesn't cause us damage then we have the uh, cut cut upper yuhu uh, pool inspection and dead pool's katana we'll go to the villain phase we add one right here juggernaut attacks for uh let's see Yeah, Juggernaut attacks for 3 plus... Yeah, 3 plus the boost card, so 0. We are defeated, but we'll flip to our Rico. Uh, we set our dial to 1, and we put one acceleration token on here. And uh, encounter card is Creeping Willow. Guard, quick strike. Well, we don't have to deal with the quick strike this round. And that is the villain phase, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, let's see if we can get rid of the Juggernaut's helmet this round. We have three different. Uh, three. Yeah. Yeah, I will uh, recover for 9. I'll flip to hero mode. And we will get rid of uh, the helmet. So we'll flip. So uh, Chakana takes 1 additional damage from each card with a printed Mental resource, force response. After Juggernaut schemes, place one momentum counter on Juggernaut with this card. And we remove the momentums. And Juggernaut loses stalwart. Okay. We will get rid of two threat here with the uh, Yuhu. By taking two damage, and we will hit for three because this has a mental resource uh, printed on it. And we, oh yeah, the, there's a guard here. We can't hit with juggernaut, unfortunately. Uh, let's back up. Okay. Well. Um, Okay, let's defeat the guard. So two damage, and then we'll take one damage, deal two damage here, so that's defeated. Then let's put the threat back here. Okay, and we ready up. We draw it back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add two here. Encounter card for this round is the mech with the mouse. Give the weight with some player. So exhaust each ally you control. Allies you control cannot ready. Other players cannot resolve player card abilities during your turn. Force response after the player phase ends. If you have not talked this phase, discard this card. So I won't be talking during the next hero phase. Uh, had, uh, wait a minute, what am I doing? Okay, so Juggernaut attacks. That's the, that's not the encounter card. Yeah, yeah, uh, my mistake. So Juggernaut attacks for two, plus two, so four. We'll just take four damage. And yeah, ignore that encounter card is uh, Citerax X. Exemplar, if, uh, when revealed, if Juggernaut exposes in play, flip it and place one momentum counter on Juggernaut. Otherwise, place threat on the main scheme equal to Juggernaut's attack. So this flips, and we put one momentum counter here, and uh, Juggernaut is stalwart again. So that is that round. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Yeah, our hand is the bomb, barely a scratch. Oh yeah. Um, 
yeah I'm not using that and we have cable healing factor and I got this so that is that round let's go to the next round okay uh, let's see what we can do this round I think I am playing cable or or do we want the healing factor? No, uh, cable is better for this situation. So I use I got this early a scratch and a bomb. We'll play cable. Keep the healing factor in hand. And uh, uh, cable hits for three. Deadpool hits for two, and Hope hits for two. We advance to phase two. Jaconer gets plus one attack for each momentum counter here. When revealed, place one momentum counter here. And if this would be Juggernaut exposed, so it would flip. Otherwise, give Juggernaut a tough status card. Okay. And uh, 21 hit points. Okay. We'll, uh, yeah, and one here. So we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, one, two, three, four, five cards. We get Deadpool, Live Dangerously, Lady Deadpool, Self-Preservation, and Healing Factor. Uh, we go to the villain phase, we add two threats here, Juggernaut attacks. I won't defend, I'll just take it. Uh, Juggernaut is for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we flip. Set our dial to 1 and add 1 acceleration token here. And uh, encounter card is Creeping Willow. Again, we dodge that uh, quick strike. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, um, first we will heal. So full health again, we'll flip and we will use self-preservation. So we have sustained no damage, so this triples. So we flip this, remove each of these. We'll use the katana, deal two damage, remove the tough. And uh, Cable hits for 4, Hope Summers hits for three, uh, 2, uh, 3, and this actually hits for 1 more, because uh, we can see that this can be mental resource. So 12 more damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, playing. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, we have to back up. So, uh, hope hit. Uh, no, cable hit and defeated this. So. Put two damage back here. I again forgot that this guy is in play. So cable was hitting for two plus two plus one is five, so two damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want to play? Kid Pool or Lady Dead? Well, we don't have 
resources for a dead pool. We are playing the healing factor. We ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We add three threat here. So uh, let's see. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine against seven. Eight, nine. 10, 11. Flatten. Choose to either take damage equal to Chagunar's attack or place one momentum counter on him. I'll take the damage. So, 3. No, th that is the attack. Mm. Yeah, stupid me. I'm uh, making stupid mistakes here. Oh, yeah, our hand is not my responsibility. Arm to the thief. Uh, stick to the intensives and. Exhausting personality and healing factor. Okay. So, uh, boost. Give Juggernaut a tough status card. Well, that's not a problem. And uh, three, so four damage. And the encounter card is sound. A uh, sound trashing. When reveal each copy of Creeping Willow attacks the player. No, if there. No attack this way, so it's an encounter deck and discard pile for copy of Creeping Willow and reveal it. Okay. I'll search the encounter deck. Okay, so quick strike after Creeping uh, Willow attacks and damages a character, standard character. I'm defending with. Uh, Hope Summers, so stunned, and one damage. Okay, and that is that round. Oh yeah, and guard, so we need to get rid of this guy again. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. And after the player phase begins, exhaust healing factor, heal two damage from your identity. And, uh, hmm. Do we want to do so? Well, cable will defeat this one. And uh, Take one damage, get rid of the tough, and deal two damage here. Then I will add an acceleration token, stun, and confuse the villain because there is no stalwart here. And uh, we will play another healing factor. And uh, let's think about this. So we have nine, uh, I mean, yeah, nine against uh, 13. So I'm thwarting for two, and that's our turn. We draw one, two, three, four, five cards. Self-control, hit, pull, healing fact. Oh yeah, we can't have two of these. Okay, my mistake. So let's say I Played on to the teeth. No, I'll play the stick 
to your intensives. Yeah. Sorry about that. Forgot it's max one per player. Okay, so we have self control, head pull, healing factor, drop pull, get ra ragey. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add three straight to the main scheme. Uh, Juggernaut attacks is stunned. We get an encounter card. Black Tom Cassidy Villainous. Black Tom Cassidy cannot take damage while creeping Willow is in play. When reveals the same counter attack and discard out for one copy of creeping Willow and put it into play and gate with you. Okay. Just put one here. It attacks Hop Summers and Hop Summers is stunned. And it has card. Those are annoying. Okay. Well, that is that round. Uh, this guy has villainous, so we need to remember that. So let's go to the next round. Uh, we start our turn by healing to damage. And uh, let's see. Cable would hit for. I uh, will uh, get Ragey, Hope Summers, and we will uh, attack with Hope Summers to remove the stun. That really didn't do anything. So we have. Yeah, this is two resources, so I'll play the Dog Pool. So Deadpool and Dogpool will defeat the Creeping Willow. Oh yeah, and uh, Retaliate Toughness 1, okay. Then Cable will hit 5 damage here. And... Uh, we will take 1 damage and deal one, 2 damage here. We ready up. Oh yeah, uh, spend a resource and exhaust this card, ready our hero. We'll ready our hero, we'll hit for two more damage here. No, we'll thwart for two here. Okay. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get montage, maximum effort. Get good, barely a scratch, yoo So, uh, I actually just played uh, with the X23 against the Murloc Siege today. So, I didn't lose my last game, so I can't play that one uh, uh, too cheaper. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add three here. So we are again uh, 11 against 13. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the uh, juggernaut attacks. I will just take the damage. So, four damage, that's okay. And Black Cassidy attacks and uh, gets a boost card. One plus two is three. Oh, yeah, this defense, so retaliate one. And damage on dog pool oh yeah one extra here and we have one extra boost icon in play okay and counter card for this round is uh, making green and uh, hinder two it doesn't matter we are going to defeat 
Juggernaut next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll heal two damage. Mm, hope Summers will hit for three damage. We will. We will just uh, use uh, Katana to kill off the Juggernaut. So that is game. Um, I feel like Deadpool is <laughs> quite a strong hero to play. Well, uh, you can't get defeated. Of course, there's this moment in this uh, scenario with against Juggernaut that if you advance the main scheme when you are in Alter Ego, uh, Juggernaut attacks you even in Alter Ego, so you will die when you are in that one health. But if you have an ally to block, then that's okay. But yeah, I, I think Deadpool is uh, quite a strong uh, hero in you know uh, overall and the pool aspect is definitely interesting and quite powerful uh, all altogether uh, i'm not uh, excited about some cards in the pool aspect but some cards are okay and uh, well yeah uh, i think it's a good good addition to the game to have more choices when deck building but of course, if we would have drawn the um, oh uh, Crisis of Infinite Deadpools, we would have been in trouble. But it was at the bottom of the deck, which was lucky for us. So yeah, but yeah, that was uh, Deadpool with the pre-built pool aspect deck against Juggernaut on standard difficulty. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.